hey, Ben, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, keep up the good work, but you are fired. So you'll be, you'll be keeping up the good work with a different company. I mean, truly, I've oh, never seen me. anyone who is as... Oh, sorry I'm late quicker. You know, just picking a tie, it's kind of hard for me sometimes. So you just got to, you know, tie it real fast like that. And yeah, it's no big deal. But I'm here now. You... I'm here. What? It was very impressive. What are you talking about? It was about? very impressive how you could tie a tie that fast. What are you talking about? I'm just going to be one heck of a bishop one day. Yeah. Yeah, Pete, I'll call you back. Uh, I, I think a homeless man just walked in. Uh, all right, <laughs> yeah. Dads come in many uh, different different sizes, different shapes, and different personalities. Yeah, some dads, you know, everywhere they go, whether it's to the bathroom or on a camping trip, have to bring a cooler. Yeah, some dads, like, <laughs> just never see their kids and then fire people a lot. And yeah. So... Some dads wear 90s clothing in 2017. Some dads only shop at J. Crew. And some dads are Major League Baseball players that hit home runs. All dads hit home runs. Yeah. Well, that's not true. Some dads are bad. Some dads, yeah, people some dads are, you know, some dads are, not all dads are good. You might not get a good dad. You're not entitled Happy to Happy Father's dad. Day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I truly love about fatherhood is that you don't need them. <laughs> what? <laughs> People say that, though. People say that these days. Okay, yeah. People let, say that. I know. People think that you don't need a mother and a father or that yeah. fatherhood isn't essential. It's so essential. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it just is. Fathers are important. Yes. I think a true dad is one that can go up to little Susie, who's six-year-old, and she's in her princess outfit, and she just loves astronomy. And he says, you know, Susie, do you know how to throw a party in space? She says, how, Dad? You, you plan it. Wow. You, you know, plan it. You, know, you plan I, it, folks. I like about that is... You, you plan it. You, you plan it. Did you get... You plan it. One more time. You plan it. You plan it. Plan it. Plan it. Get it? It's like a planet, it's... but you're also planet. No, you ruined it, Blake. I'm sorry. That, no, what the heck? <laughs> no, but speaking of space, I'm actually reading a book. I'm reading a book right now about anti-gravity, and I just can't put it down. Yeah. You know, there's this one time, you know, this, this guy goes into the office, goes into this uh, family practice, and he goes to the receptionist, and he says, Look, uh, my name's Mr. Invisible. And uh, the receptionist looks back and she says, hey, doc, uh, Mr. Invisible is here to see you. And the doctor says, tell him I can't see him now. <laughs> and then the same person goes into the same family practice and they're like, doc, uh, I'm, I'm just feeling like a ton of curtains. And he says, pull yourself together, man. All right. Okay. I, with the curtains when you saw it coming, no one feels like a ton of curtains. That's a bit much. Ah. But something I think we'd also talk about. Do you know uh, what you call a dinosaur <laughs> who's a connoisseur of words? Connoisseur of words. Do you know what you call it? A thesaurus. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Call and it what do you call an alligator that's wearing a vest? An investigator. I bet you. All right. Okay. So, okay, um, sorry. I also want to say that, uh, <laughs> you know. I think you're giving a pitch right now. When you go into the bathroom as an American, you go in as an American. Yeah. And you come out as an American. But when, but you're, when in you're in the bathroom, bathroom European. <laughs> It's so funny. It feels so good. I just feel this energy going through me when I say these things. It's like I'm... It's like we're prepped to be dads. He-Man. You know that that type of feeling. I'm more of like a like a Bill Nye the Science Guy, Pee Wee Herman, pre all the creepy stuff kind of thing. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman's a weirdo. Like... I had a dream last night that I was, you know, stuck in a muffler. I was exhausted. <laughs> You guys, if you see a robbery at an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? How about I shut up? <laughs> How about uh, we'll, we'll catch those jokes outside? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Dad. How about that, girl? <laughs> oh, I can relate to my children. <laughs> oh, me too. Kids are great. Uh, hey, mems. Mems and Mems chips. are so good. I, hey, let me tell you something else I love. Uh, I love to, uh, I love to dab. I love. To... I think it's actually dabe. Oh, dabe. Yeah, it comes. From... <laughs> it comes from. You know, some people. You know, they say you got to discipline your children, and they say you got to crack the whip. But I like to crack the whip, and a nay nay. <laughs> and then you just serve <laughs> up a cool whip. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> You know, another thing I like to do with my kids, I tell them all the time. I tell, I tell them, I tell them all the time. Oh, I need, can I, can I write this down? Oh, you got to write this one down. Because, you know, sometimes I'm, my wife says I'm forgetful. So, 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 you know, you're listening uh, to, to, uh, you're you're listening to a song, right? Someone calls you and and you don't even look at it. And they're like, hey, hey, how'd you, how'd you know that, that, why, why didn't you look at it? And you say, 
Oh, I knew they were calling. I know when that hotline bling. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't know how I do it. Do. I one thing. Ah! And that's hang up the phone. Oh, that's true. That is Yeah, accurate. you tell your kids to hang up the phone. I thought you were. Strangers. No, what are you talking about? You're trying to tell my kids to pick up the phone when there's no, a stranger? No, if a stranger's that's calling you, call you don't ID. pick up. No, excuse me, sir. I'm saying you, you don't trying pick up. To, are you trying to educate my children? They're my offspring. Well, I think your offspring got to be on spring break 2K17. <laughs> You know, uh, I think we're whip. We, can be, we can be friends. We can be friends. Uh, we, can, we can be friends. Oh, oh, whip. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag yeet. <laughs> oh, e -O -A -E -I -O -U. Okay, now we're really we're really making fun of dads right now. You know, I feel like fatherhood is yeah. a diminished right now. I think people like to not view fatherhood as something as essential as it is. You know, um, not every dad's Homer Simpson. A lot of dads are good, and a lot of dads care about their children. And I feel like we don't uphold the standard of fatherhood as we should be doing. Well, I would even go to the extent of saying that even in the media, fathers are kind of considered dumb guys, right? Yeah. You know, and I think that's just not the case. Fatherly love and nurturing, you know, we sometimes we can talk about feminine, like, uh, aspects like nurturing and loving and taking care of, but fathers yeah. can do that as well. Yeah. And I think fatherhood also needs to be talked about more when it's in the church. It's not just motherhood and priesthood, but it's motherhood and fatherhood. Oh yeah, definitely, because those are divine roles. Yeah. Motherhood and fatherhood are divine roles. Not everyone has the chance to be a father. Not everyone has the chance to be a mother in this yeah. lifetime. Um, and, I, and I think it comes down to being a steward over your family or being a steward over those that you love. Oh, yeah. And I think a, a true father is someone who looks out for, is praying for, is nurturing, you know, is making sure that their family is going to be okay, whether that's financially or whether that's um, in a situation where they need to emotionally love that child. Yes. I'm, I don't really buy into this, like, whole, like, like, tough guy macho, like, this is what a man is, like, eats beef jerky with his hands, chops down a tree. Kills like, Sasquatch. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm a man, yeah, Spike TV. <laughs> Alec and Alex Jones, like, I'm a man. <laughs> oh, no, I think, I think. Dog the bounty hunter. <laughs> Dog the bounty hunter. He, no, he's a man, he's, he's a, a man. He's let's a man. let's be honest. Like, yeah, Tom Hardy, that's a man. But I think that, like, true manlyhood, at least the more eternal, divine mm -hmm. sense, isn't a chauvinist, like, Ultra masculine, trying to prove himself, guy. Yeah, I think the perfect example for a father and for a man is the Savior. It's Jesus Christ. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, dads, you're awesome. Like and subscribe. We love dads. All the dads out there, call your dad. I think people call their moms more than their dads. Mm, that's De true. Depending on the situation. Also, if you have any awesome dad jokes, put them in the comment section. We'll pick the best one. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what, what we'll do with it. But... No, but we will do something. Probably just like give them the pride of knowing that they won. I can't wait to be a dad. I've already picked yeah. up my kids' names and everything. Shanane. Ew, no. Goodness, this is 1992. Um, 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 Drake. Why are you naming... Chance. Do you think he's naming... Fitty. <laughs>